Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, September 12, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos, and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So we'll stop by looking at the NASDAQ, and the last three days of last week were absolutely fantastic for the NASDAQ. See that we had a fairly big rally up to 2% to 1.5% and yet again roughly 2% on Friday yet again we ended up at 2.18% on Friday and just above well right at the 50 moving average we did get above and then we pulled back just a bit but if you manage to break above the 50 have a close above the 50 then it's fairly likely that we'll have another run at the 200 moving average if we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is is is, uh, is still bearish, but it is turning around, and uh, we may see a crossing here of the MACD indicating bullish momentum. We can see that stochastic is bullish, and real RSI is bullish as well, with a lot of room still to the upside. However, if we give it rejected at the 50 moving average, then we may go and test it 11.9k again. And breaking that, then we could drop all the way down back towards the very lows. But this looked very in um very impressive for the last day of uh, uh, last or the last three trading days of last week and if we look at for example the fibonacci retracements uh, for uh, this current rally then we we are testing uh, 38.2 is right here at the 50 50 is up here at the 12.8 and the 61.8 is up here at the 13 so we should be running into resistance around this area here of 50, 12.8, and then also 13. Breaking above that, that is probably very likely that we'll head towards the uh, 200 moving average. And it's not like, it's not until we basically break above the 200 moving average and we have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 that we may see um, a major trend change in the NASDAQ. Still, there's a lot of bearishness out there. Uh, the Fed is still going to increase interest rates and they are haven't yet started on quantitative uh, tightening. So um, when that is going to happen, that's definitely going to be negative for the market indeed. So let's look at the S&P 500 and the S&P 500 is looking even more bullish than the Nasdaq. Also here, massive rally in the end of uh, end of last week. Uh, up of 1.5 percent on friday and heading towards the middle of the bullish band and way above the 50 moving average macd is about to cross the signal line that is bullish stochastic is also bullish and the rsi is bullish as well also here we should be running into uh, resistance at the uh, 20 moving average right in the middle of the bullish band breaking above that that could open the door to the 200 moving average moving this direction and We'll see whether or not we'll have a testing like we saw here and got rejected or whether or not we break above. Breaking above and breaking above um, 4.3k, that could may basically be the sign that we are about to see a trend, trend change here. Then we'll have a um, higher high here in, in this trend and we will most likely see something similar to this uh, going forward instead of seeing this breaking down but still still uh, there's, there's, there's a lot, a lot of bad news still, still going, on, going, on. going on europe is definitely in recession at this point china's uh, or asia economy is are also doing really bad especially china and the u.s is kind of the uh, last bastion standing at this current stage but if uh, federal reserve continues to basically bash the u.s economy they will probably end up in recession as well so let's look at the, the the Dow Jones, also Dow Jones here, tested the 50 moving average, got rejected, but also really strong end to last week. And this will probably continue going forward. Uh, 20 simple moving average at here at 32.5K and the 200 moving average up here at 33.4K. And if we manage to break above the middle of the bullish band, then it's fairly likely that we'll head towards the 200. Also here, we have the Fibonacci retracements uh, that we have to take into consideration also for the S&P 500 we are testing the 38.2 50 is up here 32.6k and 61.8 is at 33k just underneath the 200 moving average breaking above here 200 moving average comes into play 
and break it above that, that we basically need to take out this high. And doing so, that will be very, very bullish indeed. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD still bearish, but it is turning around. So we may see something similar to this that we we will have a crossing here, and that will be a bullish uh, uh, bullish for the, the, the daily chart. Um, the same goes for the stochastics, also bullish, and our side is also bullish with a lot of room still to the upside. So let's look at the European market. The Nasdaq has not the Nasdaq, but the DAX has found the bottom here. So it's roughly around this area where we are hitting constantly, roughly at the 12.3 up towards the 12.5. is an area where we have to break down before going significantly lower. It doesn't look very really nice, but it is, it is hanging on. So also here, we had uh, quite a lot of buying occurring, even though that European economies, uh, the outlook for European economies is terrible. Um, people are still buying these dips. So we do have a crossing here for 20 and a 50, but breaking above the 50, that could open the door back towards the highs here of 13.9 and the 200 moving average, which is trading at 14.1K at this current stage. Uh, still, we are trending downwards and every time we have one of these rallies, we get basically bashed down. So we may see something similar and at some point we will break this uh, resistant support, I mean, and then go significantly lower. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is crossing the signal lines and, and that is a bullish indication. Stochastic is bullish and also our, our RSI is bullish as well. So it may well be that for all of these indices, we will see a couple of more days of bullishness, uh, but um, a sign of exhaustion with a very negative candlestick similar to what we saw something over here and here, and that could be a sign that people are going to start selling again. So let's look at a Japanese um, Nikkei. Also here, we have had uh, quite a fall down towards the uh, 250 moving average, and now we have a turnaround. We do have a crossing here of the 250 moving average, which is the golden caution crossing, and that usually is a sign of, uh, of long-term bullishness. But it could also be just a minor um, um, minor uh, occasion where we will see uh, this market rally and then just, just head back south. south. If we have a sell-off in the US and also European markets, then it's also very likely that we'll see a sell-off in the Japanese market. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the Kansas is bullish and the RSI is uh, bullish as well. But if we do rally, then we need to take out the highs here of roughly 29.1K uh, before it going higher. To the downside, bringing it below 27.2K, that opens the door all the way down to 25.25K. Uh, so let's look at the VIX, and VIX has completely turned around. We had a major rally here, massive gap up uh, only a few weeks ago, and then we rallied, and now we have yet again a turnaround. We do have a crossing here of the 15 to 200 moving average, and that is a very bearish shine. So this is a good sign for stocks, as there's a negative correlation between the VIX and, and these indices. Um, as the VIX increases, uh, volatility increases and the fear factor also increases. So when the VIX goes up, stocks go down, indices goes down, and when the VIX goes down, and then we see everything basically turn green. As we can see, last three trading days, a massive drop in the VIX, and we have had a really good um, uh, run in, for example, Nasdaq, S&P, and so on. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is a bearish, and stochastic is bearish, and RSI is also bearish, but a lot of room to the downside. So we could be heading back towards 19.89 uh, at this current stage, but that is to be seen. So let's look at the US 10 year. So US 10 year has gradually grind back towards the highs here, trading at, uh, at roughly 3.315 uh, at this current stage. And if we manage to break above a 3.497, then we will go significantly higher. It did drop, did drop all the way down towards the 200 moving average, found massive support, and now we're rallying yet again. So, so um, 
at this current stage we kind of have a double dump on the top here may see this pull back 20 simple moving average should offer support 50 also and at least the 200 moving average should be definitely where we'll find support so we're not running out of steam yet we may see this rally a little bit but going forward could see a pullback towards one of these moving averages before it continuing higher breaking below the 200 then we may see this drop significantly technical indicators because the macd is um, bullish stochastic is bullish and rsi is also bullish well there's not a lot of room to the upside at this point and therefore a pullback in the near future should be expected so hope you find this helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button at the bottom to see our news videos hit the like uh, and you're welcome to join us also at patreon good luck and thank you very much